Hello everyone, this is our session number 2 of lesson number 2. In this session we are going to learn about uh, the files and folders, that means how to manage files and folders. So before that, let's see first what is uh, file management. File management means what uh, to store what a given data by selecting uh, what standard file formats, okay, and uh, at the end to organize what those files using what a uh, folders and subfolders according to the topic that is called what a file management okay and different file formats are here okay some of these are used um, to store what um, image files or um, pictorial contents okay some of these are used uh, to store what the digital voice okay then a few of these are used to hold what the collection of what uh, audio and uh, pictures that we call video then uh, some of these are used um, to hold what the textual contents okay so what these are the different file formats okay using or selecting one of these when computer or when we store what the data okay and according to the topic when we organize those files by using what the folders and subfolders that is called what a file management okay and because of that it is easy to use uh, or it is easy to that computer operator to access any particular file or folder okay from any where okay easily any time so it is about what the file management okay then let's see what is the next one the next one is the file explorer that is it is a uh, what a a small program it will help you to find what the destination of particular file or folder or it will help you to go to the particular file or folder destination okay and will allow you to access or modify what that file or folder okay so this is called what a file explorer okay and if you want to open this file explorer you have to use what the keyboard shortcut to open it that is windows key and e key you have to press together or so to open what windows explorer or to open a file explorer you have to follow this step so first click on a start button all programs go to accessories and from accessories you have to select uh, windows explorer and click on it it will open what windows explorer window for you people okay so this is a first method another method it is using what the keyboard shortcut you have to press windows and e keys together i'm going to press windows and e keys together you will see here what the windows explorer of the file explorer window and this window is made up of different parts you can see in this uh, picture we have what the label okay these labels are showing what uh, the parts okay for what a uh, windows explorer so first begin with the address bar it is here this strip is called what the address bar it will show the address of what a particular file or folder with which you are working on then the next one is the search box search box will help you search any particular file or folder okay that means if you don't know the exact location of that file or folder then uh, you can use search box simply you have to enter a name of that file or folder you will get what the uh, files which are related to this name or which are related to this extension or which are related to what a file format that you enter here this after the next one a back forward buttons what these are the navigation buttons these navigation buttons will help you to go back and move forward there's one more arrow it is called recent pages it will help you to access any particular file or a folder or any particular location randomly okay it will show a list of what the files or folder recently visited okay this after the next one a tab or it is called what a menu bar uh, use of this one is to create a new file new folder or to modify any file or folder or to change what the layout of this window this after the next one the navigation panel this is called navigation panel this navigation panel will help you to navigate to any particular file folder or to navigate to a particular location okay and this is the work area or this is what the uh, space where you have to work okay or where you have to uh, modify what the files and folder or it will show what the uh, contents or the files and folders okay uh, of drives okay understand so it is about what the windows explorer okay then we have one more part for windows explorer what is that is status bar it will show what the status of what the selected file or folder or selected device okay 
then this after the next one is uh, to open file or folder okay before that uh, let's see how to create a file or folder if you want to create any particular file or folder then we have to follow some steps okay um, that i'm going to show it practically on the screen so first uh, we have to go to the place where we have to create what the file or folder i'm going to create first a folder so we have to create a, what a folder in chapter 2 okay here i'm going to create what a folder so how to create a folder right click on it then go to new then select a folder okay when you will click on it it will create a folder to you to organize files folders and other programs okay now we know how to create folder but what is folder folder is a container okay why it is called container because it contains what uh, files programs and other folders okay so it is called container or it is similar to a container okay and simply you have to use it to organize what are files and folders and other programs according to the topic okay that means if you're going to separate what the audio files and video files then using the folders you can separate these file types okay simply it will help you to organize okay what a information what data which is present in your system okay then you have to enter a name for this folder I'm going to store what or I'm going to create this folder with holiday so enter here what name of school then press enter now the name of this folder is holiday I hope you all understand how to create new folder okay this after the next one is uh, how to create file okay these options or these points are not given here no problem okay directly how to copy files and folder these options are there no problem let's see how to create file i hope you all understand how to op how to create what a folder now let's see how to create file now we have to create what a file okay now what is file a file is a collection of what the digital contents which are uh, stored under a single name by selecting or by using what uh, the file format okay this is called what a file file is a collection of what the digital contents which are stored under particular name by using or by selecting what the particular formats from standard formats okay so let's see now how to create file i hope you all understand what is file okay and a file has what its name which is divided in two part first one it is name for file and second one that is file format okay so let's see the two different parts of what a file uh, name first one uh, that is what a file name you can see here here we have a file name you can see new text document what is new text document this is a file name okay and what is dot txt you can see here dot txt so what is the dot txt let me maximize this sir. you can see here new text document this is file name and dot txt this is what a file format you cannot change it okay you can change but file will not work properly okay and what uh, these are these are file formats okay understand it can be text it can be dot docx it can be dot jpg it can be dot mp4 okay different file formats are there. and these file formats are used uh, to hold what uh, the given data okay that means what kind of data is provided by the user according to that file format is uh, selected okay to hold or to store that data that means if you are going to enter only text uh, then it will use what dot do six or dot txt file okay if you are going to store what your voice in digital form it will use dot wav or dot mp3 okay if you are going to hold what uh, the pictures and audio together that is called video file and what will be the file format for that uh, data it is dot mp4 so it is about what the file and its uh, 
file uh, what a format okay now let's see the next one the next one is how to create file okay now i hope you all understand how to uh, or what is what a file and let's see how to create file now we have to create a file okay it is depend on what uh, it depend on what uh, what kind of data you are going to store in file okay so different file types are there if you are going to store what any text data you have to simply select a text document now you are going we are going to create what a text uh, document to hold what a textual information okay or uh, alphabetical matter okay so right click on what a workspace then go to new then click to text document and a name for file we have to save it with the demo okay now you can open this file to store data okay here you have to write what a matter that you want to store like uh, okay now then you have to save it and then close it now whatever matter you entered it is the in demo or it is present at which name it is present at and demo name open it again how to open right click on it and click to open okay here it is and to open particular folder you have to follow the same steps select that folder right click on it and click to open okay now this after the next one is uh, how to rename file or folder if you want to rename any particular file or folder which you selected then you can rename it rename, in, rename means what change its old name with a new name now let's see how to rename it if you want to rename any particular file or folder you have to simply select that file or folder okay right click on it go to rename okay you have to enter your new name or you have to enter what a name with which you want to replace its old name i'm going to replace it with the this name is Kaggle okay I entered here name of city that is name Kaggle okay now you can see a new text document replaced with the, which text Kaggle text okay now you have to follow the same steps to change what name for folder selector that folder okay right click on it click to rename enter name for folder okay and press enter so these are the steps to change what a name for folder okay you can use keyboard shortcut also to change what a name for file or folder how to change it if you want to change the name of any particular file or folder using keyboard shortcut select that file or folder and you have to press f2 key of the keyboard okay don't press f and 2 from numbers you have to press function 2 okay it is there in function keys okay f2 key is there in function keys okay understand so after selecting that file you have to press f2 when you press f2 you have to enter name for that file or folder and then you have to press enter okay i'm not i'm go not going to change what a name for file and folder okay i just shown how to edit or how to change the name for file or folder using keyboard shortcut okay see listen one more time select that file or folder you have to press f2 key of the keyboard from the keyboard okay then you have to enter name for that folder or file and then you have to press what a enter okay so what these are the steps um, to change name for file or folder using what the keyboard shortcut and using right click you can choose any method which is convenient or which is what a easy to you okay then let's see what is next uh, this after the next one is a uh, copying files or folders from one drive to another drive okay so let's see first uh, how to copy single folder okay here in this snap multiple files are selected okay no problems that also i'm going to teach you afterwards but let's see first how to copy single file from one place to another place okay now i'm going to copy what the demo text file okay in holiday folder that means we have to create what a, a one more copy okay of demo in which folder in holiday folder so select this file right click on it go to copy okay then open holiday folder how to open holiday folder you can double click on it or you can right click and you have to select what the open option to open what that 
folder then right click on workspace or right click on work area then click to paste here we have what it's duplicate copy okay uh, it is duplicate copy of which file it is duplicate copy of demo file okay understand it will not affect on what original file okay original file will be uh, there at its original place okay understand or it's what a the root place okay understand you not need uh, it will not affect on what original file it will not change what the contents of original file okay so it is about what the file it is about what the copy files okay now if you want to copy any particular folder then you can copy that particular folder like i want to copy what a holiday folder from chapter 4 to session 1 that means we have to copy holiday folder from its original location to session 1 okay so right click on holiday go to copy then uh, you have to choose what a session 1 or you have to choose a folder in which you want to create a copy or create a duplicate work right click on it click to open here we have to paste that means here we have to copy it right click and click to paste so what these are the steps to copy what a file or folder from one location to another location simply you have to right click on that file or folder go to copy and uh, then you have to go to the folder where you want to paste it okay that may be same or different location or maybe same drive or different drive you have to choose that drive or that location and then you have to right click on work area and then at the end you have to call what a paste command okay so copy it is used uh, to copy what the file or folder and paste one is used uh, to insert what the copied file okay then let's see how to select uh, multiple files to copy that means how to copy multiple files or folders now uh, we have to copy what uh, demo and kaggle together okay so how to copy demo and kaggle files together okay once you have to click on demo okay and when you will try to select uh, Kaggle to select what next file then your system will cancel what the first selection and it will select the next file okay then how to select multiple files together if you want to select multiple files together to copy or to cut or to delete then you have to press what the control key of the keyboard okay hold the control key of the keyboard okay after selecting the first file you have to start to select the next files which you wanted to copy now i'm going to copy kaggle and demo kaggle is already selected we have to select a demo then select a demo now you can see demo and kaggle these two files are selected okay this after you have to release uh, the control button of the keyboard okay after releasing the control button of the keyboard don't click anywhere otherwise it will cancel the selection okay then you have to right click uh, on selected file okay if multiple files are selected you have to right click on one of this okay so right click on any selected file amongst what selected files then click to copy when you click to copy then it will copy what the files which are selected by user then you have to go to the folder where you want to where you want to insert or where you want to create its copies okay now user wants to create its copies to session one so open a session one folder okay or open that folder in which user wants to create what is copies okay and now here we have to right click on workspace and then we have to click to paste uh, to drop what the copied files okay or to insert copied files here we have those files okay and without disturbing or without uh, changing what the content of original file or without uh, disturbing what original file uh, copy will insert here what those copied files okay so it is about what um, how to copy what a file okay you have to follow the same steps uh, to copy any particular folder okay understand and if you want to copy multiple files together then you must take a reference of what a keyboard okay which key we have to press uh, of the keyboard control key you have to press of the keyboard to select a multiple files okay understand 
then uh, let's see what is next this after this after uh, next uh, point is uh, create a new file and folder we know that okay just now I taught this point how to create a new file and folder if you want to create a new file or folder simply you have to right click on work area where you want to create a file or folder then go to new and you have to select what a folder if you want to create a folder otherwise you have to select what the file which you want or with which you want to work if you are, if you are going to store what a text um, okay then you have to select a word document file or what a text document file if you are going to arrange data in form of picture then uh, you can use uh, the bitmap image file if you are going to create what a contact list then or you are going to create what a contact form you can use what a contact file format okay so depend on what uh, what kind of data you're going to store in file okay now this after the next one is a file format as I said what is file format file format means what uh, it is the uh, what uh, extension okay that comes after what a file name and which is separated with the dot that means always a file format or file extension begins with the dot okay and different file formats are there and according to what uh, extension or according to the file format data is stored in that file okay that means if file format is dot txt this file will store only text data if it is dot web it will store only audio data or it will help you to work with only if it is a dot png jpg gif okay you will not read what these kinds of file but you can see you can fill what uh, whatever contents are given okay uh, using what this file that means you will see here what the images or pictures okay but you can't read what these kinds of files okay so it is about what the file format then let's see what is next uh, after the file format some uh, basic operations or basic file operations in windows are listed here like uh, if you want to create a new file you want to save it you want to open any particular file or you want to print any particular file okay then you want to close it or you want to exit it then how to call what these options or these general what the file operations in uh, windows okay so let's see first uh, how to create a new file if you want to create a new file simply you have to click on a border file tab and then uh, you have to click to the new option okay and uh, from the drop down list uh, you have to select what the new option okay and at the end you have to click to create okay it will create a new file to you people okay now let's see one small example here we have a word document file okay and i'm going to create what a new word document that means to create what a new file first we have to click to what a file menu okay or file option it is there when you click to file uh, then uh, you have to select what the new option or when you will select uh, the new you have to select what any any format okay if you want to continue with a blank one select a blank format or blank document it will create what a blank or new file to you people okay so here over how to create one new file to create a new file you have to click to file tab then click to new option and select what a blank document or blank file or select what a file with inbuilt what the template okay then our uh, next one that is a uh, save if you want to save that means uh, whatever data I entered whatever uh, data is given or whatever data is stored on that file or in that file I want to save it why because I'm going to work on that file again okay and uh, wherever I stopped or at what place I stopped my work from that place I want to start it again okay so how to save it that means if you want to save it uh, dry you or if you want to store it in a dry you then uh, what steps are there to save uh, see these are the steps to save what uh, the file or folder that you file uh, which you want to save or which you want to store click to file then click to save then uh, choose what a location now click to browse choose location where you want to save and save it in desktop with which name you want to save it right enter a name 
101.2.3 then uh, click to save uh, that file has saved okay and uh, let's see what is next uh, the next one is um, open if you want to open any particular file or folder like I'm, I'm working on what a blank file and uh, I don't want to work on this now I want to work with what a, a previously uh, open file okay or uh, a file with which I was working I want to work with this file okay so let's see how to open that file if you want to open that file go to file go to open then uh, you have to click to what the computer choose browse option then choose what a file that you want to open now here I'm going to open what uh, this file holiday and do6 then click to open it will open that file here okay then uh, let's see what is next one the next one after open that is print that means whatever document uh, has created you want to generate its uh, printed copy you want to generate its hard copy then what are the steps the steps are uh, simply you have to follow the steps what we follow to create new document open new doc open what a uh, existing document and uh, to save what the current document we have to follow the same steps okay to print also then uh, go to file tab click on it select to print uh, this after you have to select what the printer okay after selecting that printer you have to enter here what uh, pages okay that you wanted to print if 100 pages are there and amongst 100 uh, you want to print only two pages last two pages 99 and 100 then you have to enter here 99 minus 100 that means from start to 99 and uh, stop on 100 okay that means last two pages it will print last two pages 99 and 100 then click to print it will start to print okay so here over how to print this after the next one is a close if you want to close what the file not application to close what the current file then we have to call this one click to file then click to close what it will close it will close the ex current file okay understand it will close what the current file okay so click on file and then click to close so what these are the steps okay to close then the next one is exit what is the use of exit if you want to close what this application okay then you have to call the exit and the steps are same okay click on a what a file tab okay and uh, then click to what a exit okay or you can the click to what a close button it is given here you can see click on close it will close what that application okay if you want to close what any application hmm? then this after the next one is activity that you have to solve in a computer textbook also in a notebook and uh, here over this uh, session and I think uh, lesson also over okay and uh, you have to solve what uh, the below lesson exercise first one is to fill in the blanks you have to take help of what these uh, hints okay what are there in hint box next uh, take the correct answer then match the following then let's see what is next uh, the next one is set whether statements are true or false answer in short you right then application based questions are there and uh, answer the following questions two to three sentences and last one is a lab activity uh, when school will reopen I'll take you people in lab to complete what this lab activity okay you have to solve this uh, exercise below lesson exercise in your computer textbook also in your computer notebook in both also you have to solve this okay